speakers, other honored guests, especially our Aboriginal leaders who will be introduced individually a little later in the program, colleagues and friends. Saint-Gon, Niewa, bonjour, good morning, thank you, and welcome. My name is Fern Snart, and I am the Dean of Education at the University of Alberta in Edmonton. I have served as President of the Association of Canadian Deans of Education over the past year, and I have been a member of the Working Group for the Indigenous Education Accord. On behalf of the Canadian Deans of Education, I would like to thank each of you for being here today to support us, advise us, and witness our promise. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to many Aboriginal colleagues and friends, partners who have assisted us every step of the way in developing the Accord, and particular gratitude to Dr. Joanne Archibald from UBC and Dr. Lorna Williams from the University of Victoria, who were two of the four co-chairs for the Accord Working Group. We wish to model what we feel every educator in Canada must do. We are committed to necessary unlearning and we are committed to new learning as we are committed to action. As Parker Palmer suggested decades ago, we don't think our way into a new way of living, we live our way into a new way of thinking. We are committed to the vision expressed in the Indigenous Education Accord. The vision is that Indigenous identities, cultures, languages, values, ways of knowing, and knowledge systems will flourish in all Canadian learning settings. To share in welcoming you, it is my pleasure to introduce at this time the new president, as of two days ago, of the Association of Canadian Deans of Education, Dr. Jim Sharp, Dean at Mount St. Vincent University. Thanks so much, Fern. We know that this accord is vital for all students, all educators, all Canadians and beyond, um, that the recognition of Indigenous knowledge and education uh, be realized. Uh, I'd like to make a quote from a recent paper by Marie Batiste, an academic who is from the Mi'kmaq Nation, um, and she suggests that the, the, we must all protect Indigenous knowledge, not only for the sake of Indigenous people in their own environment, but also to uh, raise general awareness of the vitality of Indigenous knowledge and its dynamic capacity to solve contemporary problems. The accord was adopted by, uh, uh, it was written by a group and we'll have it described today. It was adopted by the deans last October at our meeting and um, we have the signatures from, of all the deans uh, uh, that signed at our annual general meeting two days ago. And that those signatures commit the deans to working for the adoption of the principles of accord in their programs. To open this, um, we'd like to call upon Annette and Freddie Deer from the Kananakwe Nation to present a blessing. I'd like to gather all your minds this morning. And uh, the words that come before all else in our language, in our culture, the words that come before all else is right from where we're standing. And uh, I have to say it in our language, in the uh, Mohawk language. What's going on with us? I want to give thanks to everybody that's here this morning. The first thing is to give thanks to all the people. And uh, next is our uh, Mother of the Earth, where our feet is planted. And anyway, our Mother of the Earth and uh, all the things that she brings the strength and every day. And, Gives us good health and everything. It's like in our other name, it's in the sun or dark. You know, we want to see something up. Us, we have to do our way and only. But when you want to take you, what are the ones that are going to stand on dark? It's in the way of the Serotan. It's in the rope. They're going to only need only. 
se vuoda nyt se voi jää sisu. Että mä johtunut vaan ei vuoda. Neljä, katsikö näin ne? Niin on hoitanut, kun kahtitti niin kuin isä. Ja kun on tehty sumo, kun tehdään sumo, kun on paljon sumo, niin hän teikö se niin, että hän teikö se rahtu, että se voi jää sisu. Aska on jämpi tuolla voi unioon, niin voi jää sisu. Että se voi jää sisu, 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 että Tämä leipäti minä oli se, että minä olin aina ees. Ja asti niin kuin tätä nousuja. Ja onnesta oli se heitä, on uusia, ei kiiä tein hyrässä. Askarjan tuo on uudin vaan, niin kuin on tai kiuraan. Missä voi jää toista, voi jää tisen. Missä voi jää nukkaa, jos hän ei ole tullut, niin voi jää vuoraan. Tämä leipäti minä oli, ja kun etin olla, että olet kerran suun, nukkaan suun, ja se ei voisi niitä. Se tuo rahto, niin kuin käytäjä nähtää. Askarjan tuo on uuni, on vaan niin huono, että ei siinä ole rahto, kun se on. Ne on kova kohti nähtää. Oli siinä kaani, kun niin kuin tässä niin pistä nuorta. Lehto voi tilata, vaan ei aina istu, no. Se tuo vakaa suunti. Askarjan tuo on uuni, on vaan niin huono, että ei siinä ole rahto, että ei siinä ole rahto, kun niin kuin tässä niin pistä nuorta. Toinen liitä on tullut tullut, että tuossa takutiina on ollut, että se oli vauhis, se oli huono. Se on ollut se koja siitä, että se on ei ollut suhtunut vaan niin vuoda. Tänne päätyi niin oli se, että niitä kaatti niitä kaatti 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 Kikarakunisaikoskatumatikarinatulaoje, ja tuot sotkut minun, mikä eri jo vuorelle. Askarjan tuo oli uuni vuonna vuonna, tai sinun on aatu vuotta tuossa tuonne, niin jäi tuonne tuli uuni uuni, että mä johtunut vaan niin vuonna. Ja näin kadi, niin uuni se, että minä olin aina, että kun jäi tisuora, kuten jäi tuon reaassa, kun uuni oli tiet lissottu kaha, itse on tullut vaan tehtyvänä, tai ne oli koo, oli sinne kaana, tai ne riskaa koo, Askarjan tuo oli uuni, Kun on huono, että sinu on huono, että sinu on sisun sinisi, että sinu on hiara. Sinu on sisun, että sinu on johtunut vaan niin vuoda. Ja ne kanin juoni sen ajan, se voi sottaa, että oli hyvä, kun on huono treeta, niin sinu on huono paljon pitkänä, kun sinu on sioni. Askarjan tuo oli uuni, kun on huono, että sinu 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 on huono, Joo, hukkaan saakka jää tänne muhtikin nuut, minun vetsi laati viisi mui nainen vaatele, että vaati muuta kuussa on. Se voi jää tuolle, että se voi tehdä nuoraa, että se on niin tiettyä, että se on nuut tänne muu. Askarjan tuo on nuun ja vaati muuta, että se on nuut, 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 että se Thanks to everyone that's here, and I uh, hope everything goes good, and uh, with the help of our creator and everything. Thank you, and now, now and that's, that's, that's all for now. Thank you. Thank you, Elder Freddie Deer, Elder Annie Deer, and Morningstar, for bringing us together in the right way to begin this event, this launch. I am now very proud to introduce another honored guest this morning. We know that leadership sets the tone and provides the foundation for the commitment and efforts of others. Using as an example the incredible over-the-top support and creative assistance that we have received from Richard Smith and his team, Manon, Marie-José, and everyone at Concordia University in organizing this launch, it is obvious that the president of Concordia University provides overall leadership that is both stellar and pervasive. 
With gratitude and respect, I welcome Dr. Judith Woodsworth, President and Vice Chancellor, Concordia University. Thank you very much. Uh, merci, Madame Snart, uh, Chiefs, distinguished guests, Sehegon, uh, Wache, Ani Bojo, Tunga Sugit. Bienvenue, welcome to Concordia. And I want to point out that in a very ancient language, the Latin language, Concordia means harmony. And it's under the symbol of harmony that we gather together today for this very historic moment to sign this accord. Uh, J'aimerais féliciter ceux qui ont pris l'initiative de formuler cet accord. Cette entente est le résultat de beaucoup de travail uh, de la part de nombreux partenaires. So I really want to thank all the people who've worked on this. I hear it was a long process, but the long processes are always the best ones because you can always then hear the voices of everybody. And as the Accord on Indigenous Education states, the vision is that indigenous identities, cultures, languages, values, ways of knowing and knowledge systems will flourish in all Canadian learning settings. And we are very proud at Concordia University to be hosting such a ceremony because at this university we value diversity and we value all the different ways of knowing and learning. And we have done uh, quite a bit, never enough, but we've done a bit to honor indigenous identities through a center for native education, through programs on first peoples, and uh, through a center where we have in residence uh, Elder Morningstar, who has come to us from Fort Mackay in northern Alberta. And uh, in this very school, uh, the John Molson School of Business, we also are committed to training public servants of the Cree First Nation of Waswanipi so that they can improve community governance and decision making. And I know that there's been a lot of work in universities across the country to uh, develop ways for people to understand the indigenous peoples and to help indigenous peoples attain higher levels of education. And I'm extremely delighted, I just want to, as an aside to point out that I'm very delighted to note the presence of two colleagues, uh, Dr. Jim Sharp and Dr. John Lundy from the other two universities where I have served, Mount St. Vincent University in Halifax and Laurentian University in Sudbury. And Laurentian where we worked among other things to build a Northern Ontario School of Medicine which is serving communities across the north and many fly-in communities where doctors have been scarce. So uh, we all come together today to pool our knowledge, to share our expertise, and it's particularly important in Canada today because the Aboriginal population, so much of them, ha more than half are aged 24 years or younger, and it is the fastest growing segment of the Canadian population. And so education is key and good quality education, of course, is the most important thing that we can do for our society. So the work that we can do to reinforce our approach and our understanding of the needs of the young indigenous population will have long-term positive effects for everyone, not only for those people, but for the country, the prosperity of the country, and indeed really the prosperity of the entire world. So this accord will help the signatories to share their progress, their challenges, their successes, and to continue to help each other. It is a tremendous step forward. I am so honored to be part of today's signing ceremony. I feel that we're privileged at Concordia to host this event, and I wish you the very best I wish the deans of education the very best in their future work. Nyawon Miigwech Nakumik. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup d'être ici. Thank you sincerely, President Woodworth, for your wonderful message and for giving us some of your time today. It is now my pleasure to introduce 
the two deans of education who were co-chairs with our two Aboriginal co-chairs of the working group to develop the Indigenous Education Accord. These two scholars have committed heart and soul to this initiative over the past three years. They have ensured wide consultation and they have man maintained the focus of those of us who were a part of the working group. I am delighted to introduce Dr. Cecilia Reynolds, Dean of Education at the University of Saskatchewan, and Dr. John Lundy, Director of Education at Laurentian University in Ontario. Greetings and thank you to our elders, um, to our special guests, and to all the powerful people in the room. It is absolutely wonderful to see you all here. Uh, bienvenue, welcome, and I'll practice one of the Cree words I know, tanze, which means welcome to this place. We are glad that you are here. And John and I indeed are very glad that this day has come. As has already been mentioned, it's been a long time coming, two and a half years. We want to acknowledge the wisdom and the guidance that we received by the other two members of the uh, co-chairs of the committee. And I'm going to ask them to stand and embarrass them. Joanne Archibald from UBC and Lorna Williams from the University of Victoria. <laughs> I'll speak on behalf of myself here in saying that uh, working on this accord was a very good lesson in listening, um, one of the harder skills we have in education. Um, today, we actually share a pleasant and important moment in the history of the Association of the Canadian Deans of Education. Today, I am proud to be a Dean. Over two years ago, we set out to act upon the idea that deans of education in Canada can and should seek transformative change in Indigenous education. The accord we launched today illustrates how Indigenous peoples, First Nations, Métis and Inuit from across the country can work with allies to map a pathway for change, offer a hopeful picture of who we as Canadians can become and set out a challenge for all of us to expand our knowledge about and understanding of Indigenous people and Indigenous ways of knowing and learning. Getting the words right in the accord was almost impossible because we needed to draw on the words available to us today to describe what we require for tomorrow. We have done the best we could. We put this accord out here to all of you to use, and we hope that it is going to be an important piece as all of you move forward as educational leaders. I believe the accord can and will guide us all as we promote respectful and welcoming learning environments programs and research in K-12 and post-secondary systems across the country. Please join me in offering congratulations and in saying thank you to all who helped draft this accord and to those who helped plan this celebration today. Annie, bonjour, bonjour. En 2006, nous avons réalisé comme une organisation que, que nous n'avons pas sur notre comité des, euh, des doyennes ou doyennes autochtones. À cause de ça, nous avons invité des chercheurs très importants dans la communauté euh, universitaire. Alors, c'est euh, Joanne Archibald de l'Université de Colombie-Britannique et aussi Lorna Williams de l'Université de Victoria. Ces deux personnes sont assez importantes pour nous autres. Et Cécilia et moi savent que c'est ces deux personnes 
vraiment qui uh, ont dans le leadership pour nous autres. I'm just the pretty face looking up here. <laughs> Mais nous, nous savons ça sincèrement.